was fun. Well, then we'll see you tomorrow for Chris's birthday dinner. Well, we can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that should be fun. <laughs> we have to come back tomorrow? <laughs> What am I going to talk about? I already used up all my words. Honey, you don't have to try so hard. Just be yourself. Be myself? What, are you crazy? Come on, if you just opened up, you'd feel more comfortable. Okay, honey, in my family, if you opened up, it only led to fighting and yelling and me hiding in my room. That's so sad. No, actually, it wasn't that bad. I had a couple of imaginary friends. <laughs> Sometimes they would fight and I would have nowhere to go. Susan? Here's a copy of Chris's birthday list. Okay. Chris wants a Las Vegas showgirl? What? He does not want that. I know. I wrote the list. Very funny, Tom. <laughs> Mary makes Chris's birthday list? Yeah. She knows what he wants. Yeah, but I bet she keeps the best things off so she can buy it. You know what? This year, I'm going off the list. <laughs> Look at you making an effort. Yeah, see, instead of opening up, I make connections with people by buying them things. <laughs> and it works. See, I bought you dinner, and then you slept with me. First of all, you bought me, like, four dinners. Yeah. I shattered your six-dinner rule. Well, I just couldn't take two more dinners with you begging the whole time. <laughs> Can I buy you dinner tonight? All my life. Just me, my son said no one is allowed. Today, I met you, been together in a crowd. Now you've taken me to a world I see, so different from my soul. But if you're there with me, I'll be fine. Okay, I need a taste test. Reporting for duty. Mmm, <laughs> that is great. Baba ganoush, Mother. Lots of paprika. Chris likes it that way. Mmm. Oh, there's a birthday boy hey. now. Hey, Billy. Hey, hey. 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 Wait, do I smell paprika? You bet your baba ganoush you do. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Mother. <laughs> Sorry to be so late, Mom, but I had to stay at school because... I was named Teacher of the Month. Oh. Hey, that's wonderful. Oh, good for you, honey. Oh, God, that's one more reason to celebrate. Oh, T-O-T-M. Teacher of the Month. <laughs> oh, I couldn't have wished for a better birthday present than being married to the Teacher of the Month. I know. <laughs> hey, everybody, we're here. Wait, wait, I, before we're engulfed by the masses, I want to strategically place my gift for maximum impact. See, if it comes too early, it could be forgotten. Too late, people won't have the energy to give me a shoulder ride around the room. Um, Did you ever think of applying this much thought to something that actually matters? No, not really. Um, according to my calculations, it should go somewhere right here. Perfect. Hey, Susan. Hey, Tom. Hey, Lewis. Hey, Lewis. Hey. <laughs> Tom? Hey, Chris. So, what can I do to help? It's your birthday, Chris. You get the day off. Oh. Well, but who's going to do what I normally do? Yeah, who? Tom will help. Thanks for volunteering, Tom. There you go, Chris. Now you can just relax. Ah, great. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go change the batteries in the smoke detectors. So, what'd you guys get for Chris? There's a lot of great stuff on his list. Yeah, actually, this year I went off the list. Nobody goes off the list. Tom wanted to get Chris something really special, and he just didn't see that something special on your list. Oh. Did you hear I was named Teacher of the Month? Yeah, I saw the bumper sticker on your car. <laughs> you know, it's for the whole month. And this month has 31 days. 
<laughs> well, Kelly's can sleep a little safer tonight. Whoop. Hey, Tom. Hey, Susie. Hey, Miss oh. Kelly. Hey, thanks for lending me that DVD of Field of Dreams. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. No, they should have called it Field of Awesome. <laughs> yeah. How about, uh, how about that part where Kevin Costner and his dad are playing catch? Oh. oh. Tom always cries at that part. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't, it's, uh, it's not crying like, you know, oh, God. It's, it's more like uh, not crying, just being really tough. I've done that. I think I welled up a little at that part, too. I remember seeing that scene. It was very moving. And yet somehow I managed to keep it together. This is exactly what I was talking about. Why, why did you have to tell him I cried? I want to feel even more uncomfortable around them. Tom, this isn't your family, it's my family. And what I just saw was my father and Louis getting closer to you because you revealed something. And what about Mary? Well, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> but trust me, you can tell my family anything and they'll still accept you. They love you unconditionally. I don't like that. Um, I, I need there to be conditions on my love or I, I feel like I'm stealing. Come on, try opening up to my family. I knew I shouldn't have left my imaginary friends in New York. <laughs> the Lord is good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need. From the rain and the apple seed, the Lord is good to me. Amen. Let's eat. Chris, how was your birthday day? <laughs> well, I woke up and there was a little present waiting for me. A little morning loving? <laughs> a wallet. That wasn't on the list. I know, but it's exactly what I wanted. See? I'm in her head. And it worked a, um, they put candles on the donuts and sang happy birthday. What kind of donuts? It was the assortment. That's my favorite. Then on my drive home, I remembered that our biannual review is coming up, and I, I started to worry that if mine isn't good, I won't get a raise. Then I kind of lost my concentration and almost hit a dog. What kind of dog? I don't know, a mud, I guess. I love mutts. <laughs> Purebred or stuck up. Chris, I'm sure you're gonna get a good review. And a raise, too. We're all rooting for you. Thanks, Bill. Mayor, you had a big day, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, teacher of the month and all. <laughs> you know, there are a couple of other months I thought I could have won, but unlike Phil Wheaton, I prefer not to campaign. <laughs> Tom, how was your day? Good. Uh, pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Hung around. Then what else? Uh, well, I, I tried to write, but I couldn't. So um, then I went to the diner. Why don't you tell them the story about the cakes? <laughs> um, honey, I don't think they want to hear about the cakes. Oh, sure we do, Tom. Yeah. Yes, Tom, tell us about the cakes. Well, I was uh, staring at the cakes that rotate around and around in the glass display case, and I realized if you're going to get a piece, you should get the one that's closest to the outside. Because due to the constant centrifugal force, that piece would have more cake in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because of the, of the uh, subtle shifting of cake mass over time. <laughs> Thanks, honey. It's the same principle as a salad spinner. Yes, it's exactly the same principle as, as a salad spinner. Oh, yeah. I love my salad spinner. First, like when an old pane of glass is thicker on the bottom. Never heard of that, but I'm thrilled you're on board. <laughs> you know, I also have a theory about how the salad spinner is like a carnival ride for lettuce. If you care to hear it. I believe that brings us through kindergarten. Man, you've done some living. Well, I'll go get the birthday cake. Okay, but you're going to miss my learning to ride a bike story. Oh. I'll go. You don't want to miss this. Oh, thank you, Susie. You're on a roll. I'm proud of you. So that summer, I'm riding my bike without training wheels for the very first time. I raise up my arms like I'm Rocky. Yeah. And then, boom. Next thing I know, I am underneath a parked car in front of every kid in the neighborhood. Oh. And that's how I got this.
Cool, scar. Yeah. And, uh, I had to get five stitches. Oh, that must have hurt. Yeah, cried for an hour. And that was real crying, not feel the dreams crying. <laughs> And, you know, the scar is almost in the exact same place as Susan's tattoo. <laughs> tattoo? What tattoo? Susan has a tattoo? Maybe. Time for cake. <laughs> what? Tom said you have a tattoo. He did. I was opening up. Good cake. Yeah, yeah, it's actually really good. good. Yeah. Chocolatey. <laughs> Isn't it, honey? Isn't it chocolatey? Okay, why don't I go get the coffee? Hmm? Let's clean the table, Chris. So what's your tattoo? A rose? <laughs> Chris, we have to leave the room so Susan can yell at Tom. Right. Is it hard? Chris. Yeah. Why in the world would you tell my family that I have a tattoo? I, I didn't know that they didn't know. You said you tell your family anything. Yeah, anything within reason. I mean, there is a long list of things that are all right to talk about. Like movies, work, traffic patterns, the weather. But no, you had to go off the list again. I'm sorry, honey. You saw how uncomfortable this was. I, I hated this. Look, you, you have to go talk to your mom about your tattoo. Look, talking about my tattoo is a bad idea. Trust me. Yeah, Susan's right. <laughs> You heard our whole conversation? No. I'm spaced out for a minute. I won't bring it up. I'll just pretend like it never happened. What if they bring it up? They won't. When my mother's mad, she doesn't say a word. How does she communicate? Through my dad. And I'm the weird one because I used to hide in my room. <laughs> Is it a unicorn? Maybe I should get a teacher of the month tattoo. Do they do they have those? <laughs> well, looks like we're all here. So, Mom, should Chris start opening his presents? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Lewis? I thought I'd put mine further back. <laughs> hey, a fogless mirror. Thanks, mm -hmm. Lewis. You know, I got one just like that. I use it in the shower. I get a heck of a close shave. Not the time you accidentally used Mom's razor. No, that was a bloodbath. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you open your next present, there? <laughs> Chris, why don't you do two of them at a time, huh? <laughs> Hey, gloves. Those are from Sandy and me. Those gloves meant your wallet. Oh, right, the wallet. They... Yes, the wallet. Maybe you'd remember it better if I were Tommy Lee. <laughs> anyway, next present. Uh, this one's from Tom and Susan. Well, it's pretty heavy. Yeah, less talking, more unwrapping, huh? Tom picked it out. I think you're really going to like it. Probably not as much as he likes your tattoo. Tattoo, tattoo, tattoo! <laughs> Why on earth would you get 
that a tattoo? It's complicated. Complicated? Like a dragon? <laughs> what? Kind of... When I first moved to New York, I used to go out drinking and dancing. And one night, my friends dared me to get a tattoo, and I did it, okay? And that's why I didn't want you to move to New York in the first place. But no, you had to be rebellious. Yeah, I had to be rebellious to get any attention. It was the only way I could compete with Mary. Really? Yes. <laughs> you were always so good at school and always winning awards, and I wasn't. Well, but that's no reason to move to New York and get a tattoo. <laughs> well, well, what Susan did was a really brave thing, okay? To, to move away from home and support yourself in New York City, that takes a lot of guts. I am very proud of her. Yeah, Susie, if you felt that we gave Mary too much attention, then your mother and I are sorry. Now, you know we love all our kids the same. I know, but... Moving to New York turned out to be a great thing. Oh. Because of me, right? <laughs> I'm just glad you're home now. <sighs> oh, that's great. I feel like I can breathe again. <laughs> Lewis, you can come back down now. Let's get back to opening those presents. Huh? Yeah, this is perfect. Everyone, everything's settled just in time for Chris to unwrap my great gift. You know, Susan... I was jealous of you, too. Oh. Really? <laughs> well, you know, you were always going on dates and to dances and being crowned Miss Sweet Potato Pie. That makes me Mr. Sweet Potato Pie. I knew I could never be as popular as you, so I became a great student. Although I was tremendously bright to begin with. <laughs> what do you say we make this special moment even specialer by having Chris unwrap my gift? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mother, while we're all being honest... Oh, come on. I didn't use a coupon for the laundry detergent. You paid full price when I had a dollar fifty off coupon? Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll talk about that later. I think we can all agree, though, no more secrets. I think honesty is always the best policy. Oh, yeah, the best policy. <laughs> That's why Chris and I have such a great marriage. We tell each other everything. <clears throat> Box of cigars. Yeah. Chris, like the ones we had Saturday night when we went out for beers. You told me you stopped smoking cigars. Well, no, I... I honey, it... Well, I, don't honey me. <laughs> honey, I... I said don't honey me. I guess your plan to get the best present didn't work. Well, it wasn't a total loss. I mean, look at how upset Mary is. <laughs> Susan, what's your tattoo of? Okay, let's just get this over with. Oh, oh. Well, look at that. Cool. A <gasps> tiny little University of Kansas Jayhawk. Well, that's just neat. Mary, if it was only one cigar, I swear I'll jump Jayhawks! So you're pretty wild in New York, huh? We'll talk. Great, I'd love to hear some stories. Yeah, me too. Get in the car, Chris. You better not have those cigars. Thanks for trying, Tom. Sure. Chris? Happy birthday. Thanks. Hey, Susan. Remember in high school how your bras always used to get lost in the wash? Yeah. Yeah. They didn't really get lost. I used to sell them to boys at school for money. Good night. I can't believe Lewis. Honey, can we do that thing where we pretend that didn't just happen and we never talk about it again? Will you tell the rest of our neighbors that I sell insurance? Deal. <laughs> Your mother wants me to go back to the store with a coupon. 
I thought I could wait till tomorrow, but uh, she didn't. <laughs> Now, you did get $3 off, right? Because it's double coupon Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>